Alrighty, we have more of a gorilla type uh, video today where I have this Neo Geo CD that does not have any picture but does have sound. Uh, and so one of the steps you want to take when you do this is to actually go ahead and check the insulator. So what I'm going to do in order to do that is you have to plug the system in and it does have to be on. Now you're going to want to use a multimeter for this. Uh, again, there are other ways to test, test insulators, whether they're good or not. Uh, again, with an oscilloscope. Uh, but this is for the best for the DIY here. Again, we have the voltage set to DC. Um, and it is, in this case, I put it to the range of 20. Now, when you check the insulators, which to give you an example, I'll put one under the microscope. Uh, oh, there actually is one well, right there under the microscope. You're going to see the insulators are these blue things right here. They look like resistors, uh, but they're not. They're insulators and they do often go bad on Neo Geo CDs. Now, if you check your insulators and all is well, all have 4.95 volts in and out, then it may be your RGB chip. Uh, but uh, if it isn't, which again, this is your RGB chip right here. Let's put it over there. So that's what it would be if, of course, it's still, you know, still giving you the trouble, okay? So I'm actually going to go ahead and check the insulators. Now I already have here, you'll see, I have a, uh, I'll show you, I already have checked them, but what you want to do is, I'll go ahead and put one under there. Okay, I'll do that one right there. See, they're marked with L's, so you can actually tell them pretty easily. So this one is L2. So again, if you can see my reading here on the big camera, we're going to do one to ground. So one lead is going to go to ground because the multimeter uh, goes ahead and tests the difference. So I'm just going to use this cap right here, you know, right under here. So any cap really that goes to ground. You got to turn it on. Now you're going to hear sound. We're getting sound. So definitely have an issue there, right? So, in order to remedy that issue, let's take a look. Now this insulator right here, this side, there we go, 4.95. The other side, there we go, 4.94, that's fine. That's with intolerance, that's fine. Um, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. This one, so this one's L4. Again, still get the, uh, still on the ground lead here. Again, 4.95, 4.95, perfect. So the one that I know is wrong, well, that's bad. That's right over here, and I kind of already did a little, you know, trickery here, which you'll see. So you may notice I put a little wire there, and you'll see why in a moment. But if I were to go ahead and check this one, if you look on this side. It is, in fact, 4.95. Check the other side. It's 1.48. Now, that is not 4.95. Uh, again, an insulator is going to let the electricity pass through it. If it's restricting it, then it's not doing its job. So, you see right there, 1.48. That clearly is no good. So, what you can do to do a quick test, be careful, because again, with your system live, uh, again, I take absolutely no responsibility to anything that happens to you or your system. But nevertheless, it is live and on, so uh, be very careful. What you're going to do, just jump that out. Jump out that insulator. So again, I just went ahead and attached a uh, little spare piece of resistor on one side, soldered it in real quick, so all I have to do is this. Push that over to the other side of the insulator. Look at that. We got picture. We got picture. Uh, a nice picture too. It looks fantastic. Uh, I'm doing this RGB through the uh, SCART 2X there. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, that's it's literally that's an easy fix there. Um, again, you can order a new insulator. Uh, you could. I don't recommend just bridging it. You could, but I wouldn't recommend it. Replace it with OEM parts. Uh, so definitely, I'd say you know, the insulators are cheap. Get the right insulator. I believe it is 47 microhenries uh, plus minus. 10% uh, tolerance, okay? 
All right, I hope this helped you out.